Okay, so to be or not to be, that is the okay, question. So Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer. Yeah. Yeah. No, to York, suffer. You need New York. You know to you suffer. Want. Unique New York. Everyone, no, go. Like, I don't think I'm trying to rehearse like, here. You guys are being super loud. Movie. Like, do you know the Does anybody know where the I stage manager it? is? Anyone? Anyone? Hey friends, our stage manager hasn't turned up yet, so it's a bit chaotic in here. And you might be wondering how a stage manager can help with that. Well, you're going to find out today as our learning objectives cover the director's duties, the stage manager's mission, and some alternative avenues. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to analyze the role of the director and stage manager in the world of theater by personalizing the positions through examining qualifications, practicing skills, and exploring other occupations that require similar capabilities. Fly out the curtain and let's get started! And we'll start with learning about a director's duties by analyzing the role of directors in theater. A theater director's job is to supervise and mount a production by uniting multiple aspects, endeavors, and people. The director leads and collaborates with the creative designers, onstage actors, and other production team members. If it is a brand new show, the director may also work closely with the playwright to develop the script during rehearsals. The director's job is extremely important. Their artistic vision and their concept unifies all of the onstage and backstage elements into a complete production. So basically, the director is responsible for seeing the big picture. While the costume designer will be focusing on the clothes, the actors will be concentrated on their performance, and the lighting designer will be analyzing the illumination on stage, the director has to look up how all of these elements come together to tell the story. Usually, the director begins by closely reading the script and taking notes. They search out the themes of the play, the heart of the story, the symbolism, and more to create an overarching concept. For instance, my theater director in college directed the show A Doll's House. Because the heart of the show is about a woman trapped in a man's world, the director chose a birdcage as the concept for the show. After the director comes up with the concept, they have a series of meetings with the design team to share the vision of the show and how it will interact with the technical aspects of the play. My college theater director communicated her concept of the birdcage with each of the designers. The lighting director then used gobos to make the light look like it was coming through the bars of a cage. Because each character was based on a different type of bird, the costume designer used the colors in the clothing, and the props designer created a bird feather fan. During the audition and callback process, the director will observe multiple actors to see who best fits the roles and the chemistry of the cast as a whole. After the cast has been selected, the director begins the rehearsal process. In rehearsals, the director gives the actors their blocking and works with them to enhance their characterization. As you remember from Unit 1, the last week of rehearsals before the show opens is called Tech Week. At this time, all of the technical elements are added into the show, and the director sees how they interact with the actors. Usually, the director gives notes after each run-through to both the actors and the production team to fine-tune the show. And then comes the big moment, opening night. Typically, the director hypes up the actors backstage and then goes off to the audience to enjoy the hopefully successful first performance. In professional settings, there is usually a party after the first show called the after party. After opening night, the director's job is finished and the production is handed off to the stage manager. And speaking of the stage manager, that's who we're going to talk about next with learning about the stage manager's mission as we analyze the role of the stage manager in theater. A stage manager is the director's right-hand person. Their job is to provide organization, communication, and practical support to the director, cast, and technical team through the pre-production and rehearsal process. During the run of the shows, the stage manager supervises everything on stage and backstage. The stage manager is absolutely essential for show success because they're the ones responsible for making sure that the production process runs smoothly 
from the first designer's meeting to rehearsal to the ending performance. The stage manager is the logistical core, facilitating communication between the director and other production team members. Because the stage manager focuses on the logistics, the director can then concentrate on the artistry of the show. During the initial design meetings, the stage manager takes note of what the director and the creative team are saying and disseminates all of that information after. The stage manager will then keep the communication lines open between the designers and the director throughout the production process. If the theater company does not have a casting department, the stage manager usually oversees the communication during auditions and callbacks. They will reach out, typically through an email or a phone call, to the actors and let them know if they've been cast in the show. Once the cast has been announced, the stage manager will then send out the rehearsal schedule. In rehearsals, the stage manager takes charge of the timetable. They call out break times, remind the director of the agenda, and they keep those energetic actors focused. They also keep their own special script, where they write down all of the blocking and stage notes. The stage manager sits right next to the director and takes notes to pass on to the design team and the stage crew. They also create a prompt book, which is commonly called the show's Bible. It's a binder of all of the lighting and sound cues, as well as all of the set changes. After each rehearsal, the stage manager sends a rehearsal report to everyone. That includes everything that was accomplished during the rehearsal, as well as notes from the director to the cast and crew. Once the production reaches Tech Week, the stage manager moves into the booth so they can call the show. They'll direct the sound and lightboard operators, kind of like this. Sound cue, five. Like you, nine. Ready. Sound cue, five. Go. Like you, nine. Go. Ta-da. The stage manager will also be communicating with the backstage crew through the use of either headsets, walkie-talkies, or in low-budget productions, good old cell phone texts. Once the show opens, the director leaves and the stage manager is fully in charge of running the show. Their job is to make sure the performances are still true to the director's vision. They will run pre-show activities like safety checks and fight calls, give any necessary notes to the actors, make sure everybody is ready for the show, and call the cues during the performance. Speaking of which, cue final lesson objective. Ready? And go! Here we are with our last lesson objective today. Alternative avenues, with personalizing the positions through examining qualifications, practicing skills, and exploring other occupations that require similar capabilities. Being a theater director is hard work. A good director must have a unique set of qualities, including leadership, creativity, passion, vision, and the ability to see the potential and bring out the best in others. All of these skills enable a director to guide a group of artists to coalesce their varying skills into one cohesive production. Now, that might sound like a long list of requirements to be a director, but the good news here is that all of these skills, like any other skills in life, can be learned. You can start practicing them right now. Try getting friends or family members together and direct them in a short skit or play. Volunteer with a local theater and closely observe the director. Read books and watch videos about how to be a good leader. And practice skills like leadership, vision, and passion through other avenues, such as sports teams, youth groups, bands, and more. Exercising these qualities can help you in other aspects of your life. Believe it or not, the same skills necessary to be a director are also used in many other fields. Being a good leader is important in managerial positions for restaurants, retail stores, and other businesses. Photographers use creativity to take beautiful pictures. Entrepreneurs must have vision and passion to build their businesses. And life coaches are able to see the potential and bring out the best in their clients. And speaking of best, let's talk about one of the best people in production, the stage manager. What does it take to be a good stage manager? Well, some of the qualities necessary to stage manage are leadership, again, organization, communication, and dedication. A good stage manager takes care of the logistics and details so the show can run smoothly. You may already use some of these qualities in your everyday life, but if you want to continue building them, here are some ways you can start training your stage manager skill set. Once again, you can volunteer at a local theater to assist the stage manager and observe how they work. 
read books, or watch videos on organizational skills. Offer to hold secretarial positions in clubs or groups. Practice your leadership and communication skills by planning an upcoming holiday or trip for your family. And become a leader for yourself by taking responsibility for your own homework and study schedule. All of these qualities can assist you in other career fields. Hotel managers must be solid leaders who communicate well. Personal assistants are dedicated and organized. And event planners for reunions, birthdays, weddings, and more must have excellent communication skills. And it's time for me to communicate the end of today's lesson as we review our objectives. Director duties as we analyze the role of the director. Stage manager mission with an analysis of stage managers. And alternative avenues with examining the qualifications, practicing skills, and exploring other occupations. Don't forget to check out the practice questions and PDF for this lesson to prepare for our next class together, where we're going to learn all about music directors, choreographers, and fight choreographers. I better get back to rehearsal. Hopefully, it's a little more calm. Right here to right here. Uh, you know New York. Oh dear. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. You know New York. You last time that I watched it. Okay, everyone, focus in. We're starting rehearsal now. Thank goodness, the stage manager is here. I gotta get back on the stage. But remember, in theater, like in life, the limit is your imagination. Hey.